in chapter five we will study a technique called instrumental variable estimation um, and look at an application uh, which is an experiment about a uh, job counseling and this is a large scale uh, field experiment which was conducted in france where traditionally the public employment agency provides job search counseling for unemployed job seekers so this is similar as for example in in germany and um, there was a law change in 2005 that also allowed private firms to get reimbursed by the state if they provide uh, job counseling to unemployed job seekers. Um, but to evaluate basically how well does job counseling work from the public employment agency and from private firms, um, a large scale randomized experiment was conducted um, in the years 2007 and 2008 and three different job counseling programs were compared. So one was kind of the intensive job counseling programs by private firms. One was a new intensive counseling program by the public unemployment agency. And the third basically was a standard job counseling by the public employment agency. And um, in the, the private and public intensive program, one case worker did assist at most 40 job seekers at a time while in the standard job counseling a caseworker assisted on average 120 job seekers so he had much less time for every job seeker than in the intensive counseling program the experiment is analyzed in detail in the article private and public provision of job counseling to job seekers evidence from a large controlled experiment if you click on the link, you see the article website. So we see there were three authors, Luc Behagel, Bruno Crepon, Marc Gourgon, and it was published in the American Economic Journal of Applied Economics in 2014. And uh, here's also an abstract. And um, what is nice is that the uh, data, uh, which is needed to replicate most steps of the analysis, is provided so we can replicate the main analysis steps ourselves. And we will replicate these steps of the analysis in the slides and in the videos, but also in the corresponding R tutor problem set. And, and first, we only um, analyze the differences between the intensive public program and the standard public job counseling. Uh, and the difference to the private program, we will look briefly later. For the experiment, 3,385 job seekers were randomly selected and given the option to participate in the public intensive counseling program. And each job seeker with the option could then decide to accept the treatment, the intensive counseling, or to reject it and take the standard counseling instead. Now that means job seekers were not forced to accept the intensive counseling. Um, they maybe have different reasons for this. Maybe uh, it was not legal to force them or you think it really doesn't make sense to have intensive counseling for people who don't want it. Um, but that's how the experiment was designed. Maybe just make a guess first in the quiz how many percent of the job seekers who had the option um, did accept the intensive counseling program? 